So PS Coffee Roasters is myself and my brother. So P for Peter and S for Simon. I actually didn't even like coffee until I was about 23. And I went to Canada, taste coffee over there, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. I was like, I didn't realize coffee could taste so good. I came home, my brother was already working in the coffee industry, and uh, he actually said to me, listen, Simon, do you want to open up a coffee shop? I'd already been roasting as just a bit of a hobby, at a tiny little roasting machine, but that's all it really was. And I suppose the spark developed from there, which developed into a joint coffee roaster, coffee shop, and uh, now we're flying. And I just honestly, I think for years for me personally, I found it hard to find a, a passion that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I think I finally have. So I just love it, yeah, it's great. In the very least, we're, we're trying to be as carbon neutral as we possibly can. So, you know, we invested in the compostable coffee cups four years ago when we started, and uh, we have the compostable coffee bags today. These compostable bags, they're made of a mixture of synthetic and plant-based uh, polymers. And uh, yeah, they uh, com decompose in uh, home composting or industrial composting. Yeah, like, one of the girls who works for us absolutely lo loves this llama. She's like, hi, oh, the eyelashes on the llama. On the back of the bag is myself and Peter. So uh, yeah, there's my brother and there's myself. Lifelike, obviously. <laughs> So the, the industry's gotten to a point now where, you know, I think if you didn't have good coffee, I think that would be a problem. You know, it's like, it's more obvious now. You can't get away with not having good coffee anymore. Like the bean delivered one is obviously gonna be our best roast we've ever done, especially for you guys. And it's gonna be an Ethiopian Kayon Mountain, uh, notes of blueberry, uh, lavender, and bubblegum as well. So it's pretty glass. Thank you.